Right. Don't have any more hawk beaks. Uh, what else? Oh, it's not in this one. Hold on. Iron ore. That's what I'm looking for. I'm out of iron ore. Not like I keep ore up here much. Iron. Which probably means I'm going to have to go into town. Right. Well, it's a beautiful day, so if I'm going to travel, it might as well be on a day like this. Might as well put that out. And what are you about today? Just going to watch my camp while I'm away. <laughs> Curious little thing. Here we are. Suppose I could keep it in the bag. Along with most of my alchemy ingredients. Keep that as tinder. Don't really need those. Don't really need those. Right, and I need to find a soul gem. For that. That could come in handy if I need a cloak. Don't need to be carrying those around. Perhaps I can sell off some silver ore in exchange for... I need a better solo gem than that, it's not going to fill that ring. That is good for lighting fires, which I might need. Should I tell them that I'm going? I don't think they need to know. Right, but that does of course require me to get my going into town clothes on. I'd much rather not. But... It's better than walking into town looking like I'm going to raid someone. It's not a it's not a hood sort of day, I don't think. Right, uh I'll keep my feathers. I have my components pouch. I of course could put some makeup on, but It doesn't seem like anybody in town minds. Hold on. Before I go, do I have... Generally, full stock of potions. Yes, I do. Just in case. You can't go anywhere without potions. Well, you can, but it would not be very smart. Not in the reach. I wonder if I could shoot some salmon while I'm down there. Just have to be careful getting down first. Stay back, I don't need wolf eyes today. However... 
quiet, you. I'm here for his eyes, not yours. This is not a thing that I should be doing in this. Oh well. Hmm. Not usable. And I'm not very good at skinning. So I leave that for you. Always a long way down to the river from up there. Ooh. Lucky for us, it's salmon season. I'm going to stay away from them, though. Don't much feel like getting involved with whatever they're doing with their big iron suits. How can they move in those? I don't understand. There are a lot of things that people do that I don't understand. Melka's crows are watching me. Don't mind an extra pair of eyes on me. Not when they're my grandmother's. we go. Salmon meat. Don't you go pinching at me. And this is why we keep animal fat around. It is good for sealing clothes against the weather. And we may get weather. Right. I forget this place doesn't usually have iron. What do they mine here? Silver, was it? I think it was silver. Who is this now? I've been looking for you. Let's see. There's here. a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Curious sort, that one. I'm not sure why I would be receiving letters from anyone. What's this now? They're just standing around. Is it a raid? Are they bandits? I'm not sure what to make of this. It's still not a hood day. But I'm going to keep it on hand anyway. Also my sword, in case things get strange. I want you sell swords out of my mind. Watch your tongue, native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no force worn here. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? When I sell my land to the Silverbloods? 
The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. Silverbloods. I will keep that in mind. And what are these lots doing? Trying to decide whether or not they're going to kill each other, I suspect. This doesn't seem very nice, now does it? Um... What was that? If the Forsworn aren't attacking my town, the Nords are trying to force me off it. I see. So you're having a bit of trouble, are you? Robbery is what it is. The Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. Forsworn attack the mines, and suddenly all these cell swords show up to help. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. I'm not sure I understand. How can you sell off... I don't understand, but perhaps I could convince them to leave. You can try, but I'd keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. Of course. And... I suspect they will. I don't exactly have a way with words, but you are in charge here, right? How could they... My family has owned Carthwaston for generations. Rare for anyone in the Reach that isn't a Nord. Not that it does me any good. Nords think I'm working for the Forsworn. Forsworn think I'm working for the Nords. Right, and you're just trying to hold down your own camp here, so to speak. Uh, who are the Silverbloods? A family of thieves, running their corrupt empire from Markarth. The Silverblood family own half the Reach, and they won't stop until they own all of it. Right. Those are the Nords that are giving you problems. All right, then. Good to know. Oh, excuse me. If the Forsworn aren't attacking my town, the Nords are trying to force me off it. So they've started attacking you, have they? Who has... I suppose you wouldn't know. Never mind, forget I asked. I will go deal with... Very angry people, as best I can. Right! Ah, uh, no, he probably wouldn't have any iron ore around here, he's... He runs to silver mines, doesn't he? Well, there's no ore around here. But I can... Yes, there is. That would be silver. Right. We're going to prepare for this. If things get... bad in there, I want to be able to run. Which means... That will come in handy. That might come in handy. Hmm. Something tells me there's not going to be a lot of water in there. But that might work. It may be back to my old friend, Wolfbite. I'm going to do that now, that I'm thinking about it. Because the last thing I want is for people to be running at me and me not being able to escape. Nope, that would not be good. And it's an enclosed quarters. Lovely, just what I like. Just what I like. Oh, and they're all heavily armored, too.
Well, I can't very well poison my weapons while they're looking at me, can I? I'll right, just have to hope. You are very tall. There. Uh, you you are still very tall. The mine is closed. Get lost. Who's in charge here? I'm not from here. I'm a cell sword. These are my men. Right. And why have you shut down the mine? Forsworn attacked a while back. Jarl had no men to spare, so the Silverbloods generously offered to send us to clean things up. We just want that old native to hand over his land in payment for our services. Then we'll leave, and everyone can get back to work. That doesn't seem very fair. One doesn't simply sell land, right? Right. So I, d I don't understand what you're doing. But you work for the Silverbloods, right? In Markarth? You haven't heard of the Silverblood family? They're the most important people in the Reach. They practically own the city of Markarth, and we're here on their coin. So you think somebody owns the Reach? And you want to sell the land to the people who own the Reach? But... Right, you don't make a lot of sense. First of all. Second of all, you aren't welcome here. And I want you to leave. Helping out Ina Thatch, huh? Give me a reason not to plunge a dagger in your chest. Well, do you have a dagger? Anyway, the whole town wants you to... The... Nobody wants you here. And you can't sell land, can you? So, what are you doing? This makes no sense. Let's see them make us. Right. I didn't want this to get ugly. But I don't think I want your kind around here. I thought today was going to be boring. Come on! Right. Well, this is going Your to be fun. Right. Get to the high ground. Are they dead? Oh. I... Perhaps I'm a bit better at this than I thought. What are they mining? Silver, of course. Because I... Can't get iron anywhere in the ridge. Hello, little friend. Little oak spirit, how are you? That will come in handy. That will also come in handy. Get all of this heavy metal. It's not much different than cleaning any other carcass. Oops. Excuse me? There. I might as well make some use of them. Ooh, very helpful indeed. Thank you. Can always use that. That'll save me a trip all the way through out of out the swamp and into nowhere. Oh, do I have more wolf bite on my person? I do. Good. I'd like to go anywhere without that one.
I don't know if there's anyone else in here. There may not be. But I don't want to take that chance. Don't exactly blend in wearing all red. I think he might be dead. It's always so hard to tell when you use poisons that make people seem like they're dead. And then you walk up to them and they're really dead. You did, in fact. Excuse me? Well, I could make that into kindling later. Don't think there's anyone else here that I need to worry about. It's the last one. Someone is going to be very confused when they come in and this place is infested with strange plants. I don't much care. Stool, always helpful. Did you have anything else interesting on you? Not terribly. I could wear a mask to cover my tattoos, but I think they're common enough, aren't they? They might be. I won't know until I walk into Markarth. Which I may have to do. Because I'm certainly not going to travel all the way to Dragonbridge for iron. Because they don't sell iron in Dragonbridge. They don't sell much of anything, actually, except food. I've tried acquiring other things in Dragonbridge. It's quite bright out. Pleasantly, though. Right, and I'm all covered in blood. I'm sure nobody will mind. Their town is safe. Assuming they believe me. Ain't a thatch? If the Forsworn aren't attacking my town, the Nords are trying to force me off it. Well, those Nords won't be a problem anymore. That won't be the last we hear from the Silverbloods. But at least we can get back to work. Thank you. You've done a good thing for me and my workers. Here, this is for you. This is way more... You don't... Look, uh... That's too much. That's... That's very much too much. But... Thank you, I suppose. Sorry. Uh... Divine smile on you, friend. Right, and... Us... All right, then. Anyway. Hmm. Right, so they're going back to work. The miners. There's that man in all black just standing. Doing whatever it is he's doing. We might have a storm rolling in. Thank you, Ash. Make a fine Nord. Don't say words you don't mean. I like her attitude. That is just regular stone. Right. Right. So to Markarth then. Perhaps I can find a way to convince the Silverbloods to stop coming out here and causing trouble. I highly doubt that. I hope nobody minds if I take this. It's not like they're using it, it's just growing on the side of the road. Markarth is... That way? I suppose I'm going to have to follow the road. 
one way or another. Read this egg. Ah, they're empty, so they're using the eggs, but not the flowers. Hopefully they're cooking them first, because if you don't, those can be quite poisonous. That would be concerning. Right, Markarth is in that direction, I think. Upriver. I've never actually been in Markarth before. This could be quite interesting. I don't want to carry much, so I should probably refrain from picking too many berries or hunting too many mud crabs. I still don't know what they're doing and I don't want to find out. Partially because I don't want to have to explain my face. Perhaps I will put the hood on just to keep people from... I look even more suspicious with this, don't I? Right. So the grandmothers are going to ask questions, unfortunately, but that's fine. They can ask. To say nothing of the rest of the clan. But I don't think they'll be paying attention to me so far down here. Now the trick will be... Yes, the cloak friend? What is it? Why have you alerted me? What's what's the problem? It's just one of Melka's crows. Although it seems the crow thinks there's something dangerous around too. Is there something in the water? There might be a slaughter fish. Those are easy to handle if you have a bow, which I should probably get out. The trick will be not getting on the bad side of any of the other tribes, because... Although I suppose... Oh, well, this is going to be interesting because I don't really want to change again. But I don't look like one of them, I look like a traveller. This isn't going to end well. Right. Where? There she is. I'm one of you. Ah! <laughs> and I don't really want trouble, but... You know, if one of them managed to take me out, I would have wanted them to do this to me anyway. I'll take that. That was a good shot. Ooh, dragon's tongue. That makes a good tea. Very spicy though. Not that I mind much. It's nice to have a break from the juniper berries. <laughs> Anybody else up here? 
that wants to make trouble before I head into my curse. It doesn't look like it. I spoke too soon. Right. We're rounded. Fall back. <laughs> oh! I wonder whose skull that was. Huh. Made good use of it. Very crude dagger, though. Could do better. Of course, my best dagger I got from someone in Falgrith, so... I suppose I can't really say anything. Markarth is up in those hills there somewhere. Thank you for your protection once again, little oak spirit. It's good to have you around. I'm glad my guardian tree comes with me wherever I go, even if I'm not at my tree. Up at the crow's nest. I am not the first person to camp there. But I am the first person who's gotten in touch with the tree. So. Oh, that's why I'm stuffy. Juniper berry season, or juniper season. The wind kicks up and the pollen gets everywhere. Don't know who that is. Markarth is that way. I don't like using the roads. And I've come in a giant circle. Great. This is a very good ambush spot. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. What a beautiful city! Or it would be if it wasn't so ugly. It's a beautiful spot. Why do they cover their bridges? Why don't you just put a hood put a hood on? I don't understand. Perhaps it's for the shade. That would make sense. Not why we don't get enough shade with the mountains, but I should perhaps attempt to wash the blood off before I go in, but Right, I don't know if it's against the rules to be picking fish out of the water here, but I know what those are. I think they do have some use. The weather has finally approached, it seems. Oh no, the sunset. That's what it was. Right. Now's the time to be nervous. I wonder if their dogs will smell <laughs> the wild. It looks like the same kind of plant that springs up when someone dies at my hand. Your body is my fertilizer, and I don't care. Well, I will care if I break any rules in there, so I should probably... Ugly armor for an ugly city. Boy. Hello? Yes? Right? Alright then. As, as you were, I'm just a traveller. Uh, right. 
You wouldn't happen to know anything about... Traveling in the reach is dangerous. You need a good carriage. Or good knowledge of the area. Speaking of, uh, what do you know about Markarth? It's an old city. Legends say dwarves built it first. Then after they vanished, the natives moved in. Finally, the Nords took over around Tiber Septim's time. That bent a few folks' arms the wrong way. The dwarves built this city? Do you mean like the... the little hunched over ones with the pointy ears? That's right. At least according to them scholars. Stonework's clearly not Nord, that much is for sure. Well, yes, but... Old elven fella named Calcimo, up in Understone Keeps, the one you want to talk to for more about that. Wrote all those books. <laughs> Of course, right? And I've read them, as one does. Uh... That was a long time ago. Bent folks' arms the wrong way. That's right. Whole group of the natives called the Forsworn rose up against the Nords. Drove them out. Then old Frick Stormcloak came with his militia. Right, thanks. That must have been a sight to see him shouting folks to death. Indeed. Right, so they're not any friendlier to my folk here than they are anywhere else. Good to know. They do have very pretty horses, though. That's about the only thing about this city that's not... What are you doing? Yes? Right, carry on. Mm -hmm. Till next time. Strange man. Like I have anything to say about that. Me walking around with my feathers. A bit of jewelry for your journey home. Oh, this pendant would look lovely on my sister. Oh dear. Is someone there? I'm going to put you down. Give me strength. Guess it's all clear now. I die for my people. By the divines, the Forsworn are here in the city. Everyone, stay back. The Markarth city guard have this all under control. There are no Forsworn here. Well, at least I blend in. Hold on one moment. That just strikes me as asking for bad news. Gods. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? Right, I'm fine. Uh... I must have missed it, sorry. You don't have to say sorry to me. I just hope the Eight bring us more peace in the future. Right, the Eight. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Body to get rid of. This... Body to get rid of. Isn't... My... Isn't this... Wait. Do you know anything about this? Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. They even own the inn? Right. Uh, this must be yours, by the way. Because I don't carry notes as a general rule. My note? No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. I don't have pockets. Right, anyway. Um. You're not fooling anyone. Mm hmm. Not with those tattoos. But if they suspect that he isn't Forsworn, then... I might have a chance. My hair is a bit... unusual around here, though, it looks like. Uh... Right! How are you? Are you alright? Margaret... He... He killed her. Right in front of me. Do you know who she was? She's a traveler from the Imperial City. Came by every day looking for jewelry for her relatives back home. Why would anyone want to kill her? Doesn't make any sense. Which one's the Imperial? It must be Solitude. Uh... Right. Carry on, then? I suppose? What's happening to this city? That's a good question. I've only just arrived. I'm trying to figure that out myself. What happened? We'll handle things from here. Move along. Oh. Right. Why was he shouting about the Forsworn? I said move along. The Forsworn are just a bunch of madmen. 
We have everything under control. Stay out of it. Good to know. Good to know. None of my business anyway. That's right. It isn't. All right then. So, Margaret, he he killed her right in front of me. Oh. So how do you know he's forsworn? I will take your read, sir. And he's not going to need that. But he's looking, right? Well, besides you. Poor girl. Right? Did you see that, madman? A forsworn oh. agent. What happened? Here in the city. So, did you know who he was? Think he worked down at the smelter. A lot of laborers there are sympathetic to the Forsworn. They promise people they'll kill off all the Nords that rule over the Reach. Nothing but murderers and saboteurs. Right, that seems to be the general consensus, right? This has ruined my entire day. Well, how do you think they feel? Well, I suppose it's ended their entire day. She has a key. I don't know what that goes to. But I might as well... Right. That man gave me a note. Somebody thinks I'm more informed than I am. How am I supposed to tell which one of these buildings is a shrine and which one's just a building? They all look the same to me. Oh, I'm going to have an interesting time here, aren't I? Right? Ah... Uh, where do I even begin? I'm sorry! We'll handle things from here. Move along. Right, I'm trying to. Uh, never mind. Mm-hmm. Green. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market rabble. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. I might be. That was, um, not just the market rebel. No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. Arnleaf? I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleaf. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago. For sworn attack. I miss that stubborn oaf. I'm terribly sorry to hear that. Uh... Also, there was an attack in the marketplace? No. As if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? Gods help us. Right. Right. Barbarians. Ah. Uh... You wouldn't happen to have any iron ore available, would you? Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. It doesn't look like you have much of anything here right at the moment, but... You do. Thank you so much. And in return, I'll trade you some... Silver, which... Sort of seems redundant in Markarth, but... Here we are. Well, that doesn't give me much good, does it? Give me much good. That's not how that goes. Does me much good. It needs to be filled. I suppose I'll just have to keep looking. Anyway, thank you. Come back whenever you need something. I will. And good luck with this... This... Eh. Smooth, Anna. Smooth. Right, well done. 
So what do these signs mean? That means trade. Probably. Somehow they're still open, even though it's dark out. Silver Blood Inn. Well, that makes sense. This must be where we find the Silver Bloods, right? Come on in. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Right. What do people usually do in an inn? I've never actually been in one before. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just... Hello. Not bad. Strange you look like huh? someone who can hold their liquor. I do? How about a friendly contest to win a staff? No, thank you. I'm not really much one for betting. Usually. <coughs> She's interesting. Uh, excuse me? I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. Another time, perhaps. If you change your mind, seek me out here. Right, I'm actually looking for... A shrine? Why can't the men in this city leave me alone? I think of a couple of reasons. If the men in the city are anything like the men in the wilds, but... I'd better get going. Uh... Same with me. What's this? I shouldn't... I shouldn't pry. Can't be too careful these days, with the war and other dangers. For a fair price, I'll watch your back. That's... Thanks, but no thanks. That sounds just absolutely... like a... Bit of a threat, actually. So this is not the temple. Oh, I'm a fool. I should have written... I should have done something about a room there. So that I wasn't quite so strange. Smelters. We'll handle things from here. Move along. Sorry. Didn't mean to run into you. So it does have some green and running water, which is good, I think. What are those? There are a lot of things here that I don't understand, though. You have a smithy. I do understand that. A very big one. And these things, which... What are these for? Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. That's what they're for. Understood. People who don't follow the law. Right. How do you follow the law if you don't know what the law is? I'm going to... That'd be a good vantage point, if nothing else. Ooh. I'm... I like this. I may not like much about this city, but I like this. Right, where am I going? I'm trying to find a shrine. Or a temple. Or something. I don't know how they mark their temples here. Are they marked with those faces? That might be it. Well, that's... Naked women? Statues of naked ladies are not exactly what I expected to find in a city. I thought they were much more... I don't know what the word is, but I don't think... I did not think... Better. I did not think that they were much alright with 
people not wearing clothes? There are a lot of things that I'm learning. And that's one of them. So you don't know anything about this house? What? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Any strange lights or unusual noises? It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. I don't know who he is. I don't know what any of this is. I don't really quite know who Talos is. Is this a shrine? Might be a shrine. That's a shrine. For certain. A warrior god. Ah, so this must be Talos. Right? I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. I'm what? You'll do. I'll do? What are you talking about? You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. Right, so... Were you with him? Or... What? Why do you... Need somebody who looks dangerous? And why do I look dangerous? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please. You find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Waylon and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. You've... well, right. So... You've looked into this. So you must have much more of an idea than I do about what's going on here, right? Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines. Rare for anyone who isn't a Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. I've been trying to find out why ever since. Gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like... My father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. Right. Seems reasonable. Congratulations on the child, by the way. I know that can be rough. Right, so the lady in the market. Why would she... be... unless there's forsworn infighting in the city, which could be, but... She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. Okay, thank you. That, um... Narrows it down. So that's all you knew about her. Good. I wonder if I have her room key. Oh. And what about Waylon? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Waylon, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. You realize this is not a lot to go on? I have many, many questions, but I suppose you do too, so... Right. Keep your eyes and ears open. Always. You too. Why do I look like an... How do I look... Do I look dangerous? I don't think I look... Perhaps it's because... It's because I look like a mage, isn't it? I understand now. Alright. Mages are dangerous. Good to know. Well, I mean... I knew that, but... What am I doing? What have I just signed myself up for? Well, I guess we'll find out.